How we doing, folks? Welcome into week 11. And this is going to be pre-game and picks. Uh, kind of combining everything together with everybody moving uh, every, you know, all the games up to Thursday. Except for the Gulf Breeze and Navarre matchup, which is the only uh, Friday night game. So I guess they'll get a spotlight there. Uh, Brady, let's start with Wakulla coming over to Escambia. That matchup moving up today, very interesting because that gives... Anyone who wants to for Gulf Breeze a chance to go and uh, check it out. Yeah, it's kind of weird we, when, we get, when we got the phone call about it being moved up. I thought for sure that that would be one game that they would try to play on the Friday to keep it the same night as Gulf Breeze is playing. But now, yeah, the entire coaching staff, maybe every single fan from Gulf Breeze will show up just to see what Wakulla is all about. Because, you know, as you said, Gulf Breeze will travel to Wakulla in the second round. Um, you know, Wakulla's an interesting team. Nobody would have picked them to, to win a 2-5-A championship, and yet they upset Godby, a team that's traditionally strong, very athletic, upset them 24-21, so they're the district champions. And I kind of like I like their, you know, I like them to roll in this game. Like we talked about, Escambi is kind of struggling, just trying to finish the season right now at this point. Yeah, the, at some point you have to start to feel bad for those kids a little bit. All the off-the-field distractions, that have nothing to do with any of them. No, so, exactly. You know, it's a tough way to end the season for them, but uh, – one way or another, it's their last game since they are uh, out of the playoffs. All right, we're going to go to West Florida. They've just won their first district championship since 2004 in the midst of a historic season, the best season easily that they've ever had. And they're going to host uh, Northview, a team that has a lot to play for, a lot of pride going in to this week. But you got to think West Florida wants to see that 9-1 and one number next to the regular season schedule. Oh, I think so. I mean, you know, especially, uh, you know, to cap off that season, that regular season, winning the district title, and then finishing nine and one, you know, kind of setting the standard out there very high for that uh, for that program. Um, at the same time, you know, Northview is looking to kind of keep some momentum going into the playoffs and and to show that they're a much better team than they were in week two when they played Gulf Breeze and, and got beat pretty bad. So uh, it'll be an interesting game. Uh, you know, like you, we kind of talked about how how much are they going to play their starters? I think both teams. Well, try to play it safe, but at the same time, you still want to win the game. Right. Both sides want to win the game. Right. Yeah, I was in uh, Northview on Wednesday and saw you know that that team at the end of their practice. They're they're into this game. They're yeah. ready to play. They're they're ready to play the District One Five A champs. They they feel like they've got something to prove. So that, it's, a be feather, it's a feather in the cap game. You know, they win this game. It's a huge feather in the cap for them. That's right. And uh, a game that's not a feather in the cap game <laughs> it, because it's it's a real game because we're going to do it twice. Yeah. It's so nice. We'll do it twice. Exactly. Uh, PHS going to Choctaw in week one of the playoffs. Choctaw will turn around and visit uh, PHS. But you got to think that breaking in Demarius Travis as the quarterback. Uh, seeing the other players that they're going to be using at running back, seeing what they've got in the secondary, you have to think PHS goes out and tries to play this like a normal football game. Oh, I think they do. I mean, I think you have to, especially since your your team has changed from week one to week five to week ten. I mean, it, it's it's constantly evolved, and you've got new guys and new parts back there. And anytime you can get them more snaps, uh, more experience in a game that – doesn't quote unquote count as far as knocking you out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I think you approach it every way you do. You you know you definitely don't go in there and and try to just uh, go through the motions. You got to keep you know keep going like you said earlier with West, West Florida. Some pride there. They want to go nine and one too. They don't want to finish the season eight and two, even if it means they're gonna you know turn around and beat Choctaw. The whole the whole thing is you want to keep winning, and you, anytime you're out there playing, you want to win the game. Right. Yeah, and it's really a matter of pride in our last game tonight. The News Journal 1620 Game of the Week, uh, so the Game of the Night on Thursday night. Uh, tune in and check out Paul Chestnut. He'll be joined by Bill Valona for a bit uh, since Bill will be covering that game for us tonight uh, on 1620 AM. Catholic hosting Washington, two teams that have some pretty darn good athletes but not the record that they wanted coming into the season. you got to think both these teams are looking to get these sophomores and juniors ready to play for district championships next season. Yeah, I think that's what it's about now is kind of get that springboard into the offseason. Both of them starting sophomore quarterbacks. Both of them have a lot of sophomores and, and juniors on the field. So um, this would be good, you know, good, good momentum boost to get into the offseason right. to start that offseason workouts and, and kind of have – uh, something to build on at the end of the season. Right, and they're actually the ones that started this whole move on Thursday. Thing. Yeah, they started yeah. way back in week yeah. three or four or whatever. Well, but. Uh, October the 12th, they, <laughs> they called, uh, Greg Cyber called and said, you know, we're moving to Thursday. That, October the 12th, that was a month ago. Yeah. And that's crazy. Everybody so. else waited till this yeah. week. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, else, everybody else decided to wait until now to, to let us know. So 
We appreciate Kathleen giving us the, the month-long heads up there. All right, uh, the final game of the week, and it, we'll just touch on a little bit. It is the Friday night game, and that is Gulf Breeze hosting Navarre, uh, a rivalry game. Uh, you got to think the Navarre seniors, who this will be their last game, yeah. they don't want to go out on losing note, especially to Gulf Breeze. No, they don't. I mean, it's a rivalry game. And like you said, Navarre's had a, a disappointing season, but they got some very good players, and they want to go out and, and, and have something to kind of be proud of. A five and five season obviously is not as good as they would like, but it's better than going four and six and losing to your rival. Right. Um, it's an interesting situation though because Gulf Breeze, the the, the rivalry has never really been in a situation, at least not since two thousand three, where Gulf Breeze is the team preparing for the playoffs, right. and and Navarre is the team that's kind of just going through the motions. But I think it doesn't matter. I think both teams that come out and try to win that game Friday night. All right, let's run through. Uh, no analysis, just picks. You okay. Ready? All right. All right. Northview at West Florida. Uh, West Florida. I agree. Uh, PHS at Choctaw. PHS. Again, you're copying me. <laughs> All right, Washington at Catholic. Catholic. I agree again. All right, uh, Wakulla coming to Escambia. Uh, I like Wakulla. I like Wakulla also. Stop copying me. <laughs> and finally, uh, Navarre at Gulf Breeze. Navarre. Navarre. See? Uh, see copying me, man. Well, that's why, it's, that's it's probably ridiculous. why we're tied now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll finish tied, huh? I guess we will. <laughs> yeah, we'll go into the playoffs, and I'll pick some winners. You'll pick some losers. And yeah. Yeah, we'll be in You'll good separate shape. yourself from That's right. Again. That's right. It's not too hard. You're not very smart. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. Uh, join us again for the uh, week's wrap-up video. We'll bring that to you either Friday or Saturday. Probably Friday. Yeah, we got four games on Friday. Not, only one game on Saturday. It's yeah. tough to do a whole video on one game. So. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll do a separate video for that game. Wouldn't be bad. Yeah, Brady's not going to do anything because he's going I'm not going to be here. He's going on vacation. <laughs> Enjoying the high life during football season. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Blakeney. With me is Brady Amon. We will see you next time.